Hi all, welcome back to another video. Today, let's talk about the attendance module in Odoo 16. Attendance management can be a hectic task. Keeping track of employee attendance is necessary for increasing the efficiency of employee management in company. Every organization, regardless of its size, has to keep track of attendance for efficient employee management. Considering the importance of attendance management, Odoo has a dedicated attendance management module called the Attendance Module, which is equipped with advanced features and useful tools for efficient attendance management. Now let's take a look at the Attendance Module. Once you open the Attendance Module, you have an option to check in. So click on check in and your checked in time is recorded. Click on OK and while you are leaving, you can just click on check out. Um, based on these two times, the total hours worked can be calculated and they will take it as worked hours. OK, now that's the check in check out menu. We have kiosk mode which we will save it for the last. Next we have the attendance menu. Inside the attendance menu, you can see the attendances of different employees. They are check in time, check out time and work hours. So here you can see Michelle admins check in and check out and also workers. This is what we've done right now, right? I've checked in right now that time is recorded here. And if I check out that time will be shown here. And based on that working hours will also be shown here. Now, if you want to create a new one, just click on create. So creation is nothing but here you can manually give the checkout time. Okay. So I'm not doing that. And here we have the Kanban view. And inside the Kanban view also we have a create button. Here you have a small form view that is a small creation form. And here you can mention the checkout, check in and employee name. And you have the option to filter it based on your attendances. The check in time and once with no checkout. And inside group by you have an option to group by employees. Here you can see Abigail, Mark Demo and Michelle admin. And also you have, you have an option to group it by check-in and check-out time. And if you want to add custom group, you can do that. Inside the favorites, we have save current search, import records, link menu in spreadsheet, add to my dashboard and here two new features which are insert view in article and insert link in article. So if you want to insert this view inside an article in knowledge module, which is a new addition to Odoo, just click on this. Choose the article where you want to insert the view. Now inside the article, if you just scroll down, here you can see the view is inserted. Now similarly, you can also insert a link towards this view inside the article in knowledge module. Okay. And next we have the reporting. Let's open the reporting. Here you have a graphical representation of the attendance analysis. Okay. So here you have um, employees in different colors and undefined employees and also the dates. Okay. This is the attendance analysis on the daily basis. You have measures here. Measure you can view it based on extra hours and hours worked. And if you want, you can insert it in spreadsheet. You have bar chart, line chart and pie chart. Okay, you also have a pivot view, which is nothing like a table. Um, flip axis, you can expand it and also uh, download an XLSX going back to the graph view. Here in the bar chart and line chart, you have an option to sort it. You can sort it based on descending as well as ascending order. And you have the cumulative and stack view. Similarly, inside the bar chart also, we have the stack, stack view and sorting. Okay. Now, here we have filters, which is to filter based on check-in date and also add custom filter. Now, inside the group by, you have employee, group by employees or group, group by the check-in date, which we provide. Here, we have favorites where to save current search link menu and spreadsheet add to your dashboard and also insert link and view in article which we've done right now okay next let's go to the configuration tab 
Inside the configuration menu, you have two sections which is extra hours and check in check out in kiosk mode. So extra hours is nothing but to record the extra working hours. Okay, uh, you can just set a particular uh, time for or this much hours for an employee. So you can just click on start from and specify a date here and you have the tolerance time in favor of company as well as in favor of employee. So that can be set that time period can be set here. Okay, based on minutes and inside the check in check out in kiosk mode, we have attendance mode, display time, ensure, I mean, employee pin and barcode source. So here you have the barcode source. So once you open the kiosk mode, you have an option to scan badge that is you can scan your badge and enter based on the barcode okay and also you have an option to enter the pin and login okay and that window how long it should be displayed that is the greetings window how long should it be displayed can be given here not the window but the message okay and here you have the attendance mode you can just choose the attendance mode from here if, if you want you can choose manual selection if barcode is enough, you can give barcode. If barcode and manual selection is required, you can give that as well. Now here you have an option, which is the employee pin. Just enable that and save it. So uh, other than barcode, you can just enter the employee pin and check in. So before that, you have to set an employee pin for the employee. For that, let's go to the employees module. Now you have a lot of employees. If you just open Michelle admin and go to the HR settings of Michelle admin, here you can see the pin code and badge ID, right? So pin code is already set for Michelle ID. Badge ID is also set. Let's go to someone else for whom this is not set. We'll open Anita. Here do, we don't have any pin code and badge ID. So I'm setting the pin code as 1111 and a badge id okay so if you just click on generate a badge is generated and if you want to see the badge print badge okay the badge is print let's open it this is the badge so here you can see a barcode and check-in will be done using this barcode okay so you can use this barcode or this id card for logging in Okay, now let's go back to the attendance module and see how the kiosk works. So, uh, you have, this is how you set a pin and badge ID for an employee. You just go back, go to the attendance module. And here you have the kiosk mode. Open it here, you can see the uh, sign which says scan your badge. Okay, so if you have a badge, you can just scan it or if you click on identify manually, currently we have pin for Michelle admin also. So Michelle admin's pin was 0000, so I'm clicking 0000, clicking on OK. So he's checked in. So this is how you check in using the kiosk mode, that is you can enter your pin and then like check in. Okay, if you just open identify, you can see Michelle admin is present. You can see this color has changed to green. Same way if you choose Anita Oliver, you can choose her pin which we have set as 1111. Click on OK. OK. Okay, so here if you go back and see, you can see Anita is also present. So these are the main things which comes under the attendance module and this is how you mark attendance for your employees through kiosk mode or normal check-in and check-out. So that's all for today's video. Hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.